This is Field Sports Channel News. Prince Charles has thrown his weight behind an anti-poaching drive. He made the promise when he met Tanzanian President Jakaya Kikweti in Sri Lanka during the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. According to Kikweti, Prince Charles plans an anti-poaching conference in February next year. George Digweed, MBE, has been celebrating his most successful competitive year. He hosted a special evening to thank all the people who've helped with his career. Over 90 guests from all over the world were invited to join George and his wife Kate. Each of the nine tables had one of his trophies as a centrepiece. It's nice to be able to say thank you to, uh, to everybody that supported me throughout my career and uh, you know it's a, it's a nice way to do it, a very special place to do it. I can only be as good as the products I endorse. If they're not consistent, they're not good, they're not quality products, I wouldn't have won what I've won over a consistent period of time. At the end of the evening, George was presented with a specially commissioned Parazzi shotgun, hand delivered by Mr. Parazzi himself. You know, to, to make it and uh, less than one month we made the gun. Usually we take three, four months. Absolutely. I did it, you know, so fast way because it was very important to have the gun ready for this evening. The Arizona Game and Fish Department have been rounding up bighorn sheep for release in the Catalina Mountains in the state. It's a $600,000 project funded by hunters and hunting licenses to replace a herd that died out in the 1990s. Each animal has a satellite GPS collar that'll fall off after about two years. Biologists will closely track their movements. Government agencies and conservation groups reach an agreement to kill a mountain lion if it preys on a sheep. Children in Northern Ireland will be allowed guns, according to a government minister. David Ford, who is Northern Ireland Justice Minister, is considering lowering the age at which young people can have supervised access to shotguns and air guns to 12 years of age. Our films have now been watched over a million times on the Chinese version of YouTube. We started translating and uploading a few weeks ago. So far, Roy shooting feral pigeons in London is proving to be the most popular film on Youku with one of the Chinese comments suggesting that they taste better than chicken. A Native American tribe has said that its love of eels changed the course of white history in America. According to the Mi'kmaq, a party of their number was meant to be supplying gunpowder to the French forces at Louisbourg, which was under siege in 1758. However, they stopped for eel stew, which sent them to sleep, as eating eels is known to do. And consequently, the French not only lost Louisbourg, but soon the whole of their foothold in North America. And finally, whilst filming a fishing trip on the top hook off New York, a cameraman caught this amazing feat. And he's back! He's on! Thankfully, it was a cheap rod. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts. <laughs>